Nets of cubes and distinguishing which cubes can be made from a particular net are an important non-verbal reasoning 11 plus skill. And here on the board I have an example. We've got the net of a cube and we've got some three-dimensional representations of cubes that we want to know whether these cubes can be made from this net. One of the ways of doing it is to visualise opening up the cube. So I have um, a cube here, or part of a cube. You can see that it's the same as the cube that's drawn in a flat way on the board. And I'm going to open it up. So when I've opened it up, we should be able to compare it with the main net. So let me do that. So that cube has now been opened up and we've got the two-dimensional version of it. So if you can visualise that opening up and then move this over to the main net and try and line it up to see whether the shapes are in the same rotation. Let's do that. The sort of multiply sign has got to go to the top. And you can see they're in the same positions as the net. And so we can say that this cube is, is made from this net. Now let's have a look at part B. This time I'm going to show you that you can go the other way around. So let's start with the correct three shapes. That's a multiply shape, a plus shape and an arrow shape. And make sure that they come from the net of the cube. So let's look at it up here. OK, we can see we've got the plus sign in the middle, the arrow pointing down, and the multiply sign above the plus sign. OK, I'm now going to fold this one up to make it look like the 3D representation. And see if that's the same as what we've got on the cube. Well, I can see on the top, I've got the multiply sign, which is correct. On this face, I've got the plus sign, which again is correct. But on the third face, I've got an arrow pointing upwards on the 3D representation, but it's pointing downwards on my model here. And so we now know that this one can't be made from the net. And now on to the next question. We're going to start looking at this one like this. So we've got the cube and we can see all the faces and then we're going to open it out and compare this with the main net. Now the first thing I see here is that the heart shape is at the bottom, but my multiply sign shape is at the top. Also the arrowheads part way up as well. So this makes this one trickier. A trick you can do here is you can move any of the middle ones to the position you want, as long as they stay in the right order, the sort of wrapped order. So now that's much better, isn't it? We can see heart and multiply sign. So the only one that we've now got to work out, to worry about, is the arrowhead. Now we can move the arrowhead down, but we have to remember that as we move it down, it rotates by 90 degrees each time we move it down one face. So moving it down to be next to the circle, it will rotate to this position. And then moving it down to be next to the heart, which is where we want it, it goes round by another 90 degrees to this position. 
Right, now let's compare it to the cube that we're trying to check and we can see that the arrowhead is different. On the cube we're trying to check it's pointing up, on the net it's pointing to the left. And so that has proved that this cube cannot be made from the net. Nets of cubes can be tricky and you've seen several approaches today. My top tips. First, eliminate the easy ones, the ones where the faces are touching each other. Then, look at moving faces together so that they're close and you can see much more easily whether the net makes the cube. And another tip, know how to rotate faces when you're moving them up and down that main trunk. Remember, every time you move it down one place, it will rotate by 90 degrees. Move it down another face and another 90 degrees. And finally, don't be afraid to draw and experiment, even in your exam. It may help you find the answer.